In July 2020, we weighted uh, the trout. I received 100 trout and uh, we wanted to know the exact biomass of fish I had in the pond, so I weighted the fish. Today, we are in January 2021. Six months ago, the fish were 90 grams. So what I propose you today is to wait to fish some of the trout that we have here, to weigh them and to see how much progress we have in the weight, how much weight have they gained. And also it's going to be, it's going to allow me to have a good picture of the exact biomass of fish I have into the pond behind me. Let's do it together. So to do so, I have a very small scale. Unfortunately, that's the only one I have. It's only a five kilo scale. So if you remember from the first uh, time we did it together, I need to have the scale. I need to have a, a, a pot of water on it. I tear the pot, so I put it at zero. Then I fish some fish, I put them into the, into the pot and it's gonna give you the weight of the fish. I'm gonna do this on several fish to have an average weight on the fish we have. Four hundred, four hundred sixty grams. Okay, this was a very bad idea. I'm gonna find another continent. This one it will be much better because you see I can put some water, tear it, then put the fish inside and lock it. When the fish are in the dark, they are less stressed, so they will move a bit less. So it will be much easier for us. Let's do it again. <laughs>
453 grams. I entered the data into the spreadsheet, you know the spreadsheet that was available on the first video. You will again find it into uh, this article, the article of this video or the description of this video. Uh, it's always available on the website aquaponicsrevolution.com. So when I put everything in the spreadsheet, uh, the average weight of the fish I have in the, in the ponds or the trout is 460 grams per fish which is huge compared to the size of the fish I put in the pond uh, six months ago, they were 93 grams. So you see they grew more than four or five times, almost five times the way they were in six months. It means almost every month they doubled the, I mean, they didn't double the weight every, every month, but every month as they took 90 grams more. That's huge, that's very interesting. So you see how fast this fish is growing. The plate size for trout is around 250 grams. Those trout, they are 460 grams, so I could have harvested them already. Now is a very tricky time to keep them. If you want to keep trout in summer, I really highly recommend you to watch this video that I did last time. And all this information is available on the website Aquaponics Revolution. So the total biomass of fish I have into the pond just for the trout is 12.400 grams, 12 kilo, 400 grams. Then obviously we also have uh, some other fish, like little goldfish, uh, and other little species of mosquito fish in the pond, which means that in total, I should be close to, uh, to, to 13 kilo of fish. So you see, it really helps me to, uh, to keep track of uh, the biomass of fish I have into the pond, you know that there is a maximum quantity of fish that I can have into my aquaponic system. This is determined by the raw bed quantity and also the quantity of, of plants I have into the pond. If you are not familiar with this and if you want to work with aquaponics, I highly recommend you to get access to the free aquaponics training that is available in the description of this video or in the eye like information on the corner of the video somewhere if you are watching the video on YouTube. If you have any questions, I know you're going to have a lot of questions. Your question, you put them in the comment section and I will make sure to respond to your question. If you'd like to know more about aquaponics, don't forget to get access to the six step aquaponics training. It's a free training that is accessible from the description of this video or from the website aquaponicsrevolution.com. You will learn there uh, a lot of information about aquaponics, how it works, what are the critical limits and the ratio to respect. It will help you to really understand the principle of aquaponics and to put it in practice and maybe to build your own aquaponics system. If you find this video helpful and if you want to know more, subscribe on the channel.